after he dropped a hint about it earlier in the week, the New York Knicks have announced that Patrick Ewing will represent the Knicks on the dais during the May 14th NBA Draft Lottery. As the last number one pick the Knicks ever had, will he bring enough luck to help the Knicks land Zion Williamson? I certainly hope so, but will he bring a different type of luck? The type of luck that many speculated the Knicks received when they got the rights to draft Ewing in 1985. For those who don't remember, the 1985 NBA Draft Lottery was highly controversial with many speculating that it was rigged for the Knicks. Conspiracy theorists pointed to a number of things. The NBA was trying to repair its image in the 1980s due to a lack of attendance, the team facing financial issues, and a league-wide cocaine issue. With the league's TV deal with CBS set to expire, there was strong feeling among TV and advertising executives that the NBA would benefit most if Ewing wound up in a Knicks uniform. Then there was David Stern, the newly minted NBA commissioner in February of 1984, a native New Yorker and a lifelong Knicks fan. Was he trying to give his hometown team a lift? They even looked at the auditors of the lottery. Ernst and Winnie, or Ernst and Young as of today, was the same auditor of Gulf and Western, the owners of the Knicks at that time. Could there have been collusion between the two? Others speculated that the envelopes were frozen or even bent to help David Stern choose that envelope for the Knicks out of the drum. The team whose logo is in this envelope will have the first pick in the NBA draft. The second pick in the 1985 NBA draft goes to the Indiana the Horseshoe Works. Basketball is back in New York City, my friend. In the end, none of the rumors were proven to be true, and the Knicks ended up with one of the greatest to ever play the game. Whether a frozen envelope, Patrick Ewing, or a lucky rabbit's foot, we'll need all the help that we can get to get us on the road to Zion. Guys, keep going, keep going. Hey, all right. Hey, I told you I was gonna do it for you, man. Come on, man.